Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Help us for our new Arabic grammar by Nahmad and Haywood. Exercise 2, number 18. Translate, you are a tall man and I am short. So first step is to analyze the sentence. We can see that there are two R's. There's a two, uh, the verbs to be is. You are, or you, what could have been, you is a tall man. You are a tall man in English. And the verb is becomes am when it's with I. I am short. So we effectively have two sentences divided by the end. The first sentence is an A is B sentence. The A is you and the B is a tall man. And the second sentence is I am short. Again, it's an A is B sentence. And the A is I and the B is short. So let's concentrate on the first sentence. <coughs> We're going to eliminate the R. The first word is you. The second group of words is all about a man, and the related word is tall. So man is the, the described word, al mausuf and al-sifa is tall. And with these, uh, with the second sentence, each group of words is just a single word. So we're going to Arabize that, so the U stays the same. We eliminate the R. A tall man will become a man, a tall, the indefinite man needs to take an indefinite article but that's a single word in Arabic and a tall and stays the same I stays the same the am is eliminated because al jumla lismiya doesn't need it and the short <coughs> will take on a uh, indefinite article a short when we put this together when let's translate it anta we say anta and not anti because we're talking about a man so therefore it's the masculine dhamir anta anta rajulun طويلٌ و for and أنا for I قصيرٌ short so if we put that all together we can write it as this أنت رجلٌ طويلٌ وأنا قصيرٌ a small new book question number 19 again we identify the structures there is no as there's no am there's no are <coughs> there no there's only a single group of words the word is book which is uh, described by new and small <coughs> so we put the word book and when we Arabize the structure at the beginning the word order is important and then we give it an indefinite article it will be a book because a small new book applies to all of this a small and a new so they will have three words that's put in the Arabic a book kitabun a small sagirun a new jadidun kitab is male therefore sagir will be male and jadid is male so we put it all together in the right to left direction we get kitabun sagirun jadidun finally the long street here we're going to analyze the structure we don't have a sentence we don't have is or are or am <coughs> we only have one group of words which are related street is what is being described it's being described by the word long and it is definite the so let's put that into the Arabic style we first put the word that is described street we have to make a definite the and long already has the word the in front of it um, <coughs> the street in Arabic is ash-shari'u the alif lam being the this ayn has only got a single dhamma because of the alif lam and the adjective has to match the word it's describing if it this word is definite ma'al ma'rifa then this word has to be definite ma'rifa with the alif lam and uh, if this word has a is marfu dhamma, then this word should be the same. And if this word is male, then this word is male. At-tawilu. So if we put that together, we get ash-shari'u at-tawilu. Remember, this is not a sentence. It's just a translation of this group of words, the long street. Ash-shari'u at-tawilu. This brings us to the end of exercise 2. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ